the moment we've all been waiting for. Some more tips on how to stop fighting with your spouse today. Hi, I'm Joy and welcome or welcome back to She Built Her Home. In this channel, we discuss productivity, positivity, as well as homemaking. Today's video is a continuation to the prior video about how to stop fighting with your spouse. These tips can help just about anyone to stop fighting with their spouse. I mentioned in the last video's description box about how these tips are only if you're not in an abusive relationship. If you're in an abusive relationship, please consult with your church. If you go to one, get to safety as soon as possible. If you need some resources, I'll link them down below. Otherwise, let's jump right in. Tip number one, assume the best. Nobody likes when people think poorly of them. So from now on, we're going to assume the best about our spouse. If there has been some previous trust issues in the past, scratch them all away. I know it's hard. Try to write a letter to yourself or your spouse. Be sure that they are willing to work on this with you. That doesn't excuse them from trying to rebuild the trust each and every day, but on your side, and what we can do is assume the best. Suppose that you have made a mistake in the past, or even if you didn't, you wouldn't like it if somebody assumes the worst of you. Why should we do the same with our spouses? From now on, let's commit to assuming the best. Tip number two, treat them like a friend. How would you treat your friends? How would you like your friends to treat you? Is that how you're treating your spouse? Let's be sure to treat our spouse like friends because they are. They should be our very best friend. So if you find yourself doing things that you would never do to your friend or that you wouldn't like if your friend did it to you, let's stop this behavior, please. It's not fair for them. We wouldn't like it if they did it to us. Let's remember the golden rule. Treat others as you would like to be treated. That is the golden rule. But for me, there's even a platinum rule. And that is to treat others better than how you would like to be treated. Can we commit to doing that today? Friends accept each other as they are. Obviously not if they're doing something wrong. We are to let them know in a loving manner, but we don't nitpick our friends either. Let's try to see our spouse, how God sees them, if you're a believer. Otherwise, let's try to see them how we wish for people to see us. We wouldn't like for others to be super critical of us. Let's try to be more patient, loving, and understanding about our spouse. Let's treat them like friends, our best friends. They'll really appreciate it and our marriages will be even better. The next one is find ways to laugh together. You know how it is, those belly laughing moments that none of you can stop laughing and almost always someone ends up running to the bathroom because they're laughing so hard. If we make more moments like this in our marriage, we're surely to grow closer. Laughter creates bonding. And the more bonding, the better our marriages can be. Let's try to find ways to laugh together today. What is funny to them? Do you really know what your spouse finds funny? Endeavor to get to know them. Let's remember we are always to be students of our spouses. Never ever stop learning them. People are changing each and every day. You're not the same person you were 10 years ago, nor will you be the same person in 10 years. People change, God willing for the better, but regardless, people are always changing. Do you know your spouse today? Can you make them laugh? I try to have a daily test to make my spouse laugh at least once a day, and he's always making me laugh as well. Let's make sure to keep our joyous memories that everything should be strange, stressed, and serious all the time. I know that we're adults and there's time for this, but there's also a time for laughing, right? And if not, let's make some. I'm sure that everyone will appreciate it. Here's an oldie, but a goodie. Date night. Oh yes, one of my favorites, date night. And there's no excuse. Even if you don't have a penny to your name, Please, please, please don't ever go into debt. 
not for date night even as important as it is you can have some free 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 or inexpensive dates today why don't you text your spouse that honey let's go on a date tonight if they don't really like surprises they're more of a planner or if their schedule is crazy make sure you invite them to a date this weekend remember when we were recording how it used to be we used to look forward to these date nights my husband and i have not dropped our date night even during our death free journey and we do not intend to make sure you're incorporating date night today today if not as soon as this weekend children or no children money or no money no excuse we have two under two remember we even had dates at home mind you this was during a global you know what and we still made time to date we had the baby at home we'd put him down for the night if you were gonna say that your child doesn't sleep through the night yet first of all i have a really good book that can help your child sleep through the night we tried it for both of our boys it super works try it for yourself it's like less than ten dollars or you can get it at the library and to me it's worth every penny i'll link it down below the newborn ages your your child should be able to sleep at least two three hours god willing and if that's the case bingo that's your cue i know we're all tired we want to sleep but at least once or twice a month endeavor to make a date with your spouse you won't regret it play games do something with your spouse and you will be amazed at the results if you have a little bit more money or more time or older children well then you can go ahead and do more you can take walks on the park on the beach depending on where you live marriage should be even sweeter than courting marriage don't forget it's a gift it was designed by god marriage is like the sweetest thing in the world if we work to it suppose that you have a garden and you don't tend to it what will happen weeds will grow it will become overrun and everything like that now suppose that you have a garden and you do tend to it it'd be beautiful with vegetables flowers whatever kind of garden you have that's how we should treat our marriages and even more because gardens come and go is that even a thing i don't know but i'm making it one today gardens come and go but marriage is forever also when you guys are dating you're investing in one another and one of the golden rules in marriage always be investing in each other always you surely won't regret it because when the children grow up and leave the home because they will god willing then you don't want to turn around and say oh you're still here you know we don't want it as if a stranger is in our home because this is our husband our very best friend should be our number one priority after god so let's be investing in our marriages let's do something fun schedule a date night right now go ahead pause 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 the video text your husband and plan a date oh the next one your husband is going to love notice what they did right nobody wants to be nitpicked all the time nobody wants to always be scolded about what they did wrong about how they fold the clothes if they didn't fold clothes first of all if they fold clothes congrats <laughs> you know a lot of husbands don't even do that and focus on what they did right okay so the sock is next to the hamper on the floor and you need it into the hamper fine but is the garbage taken out if it is congratulate them on that did they pick up groceries? Whatever they did, there's always something right. Even if they put the toilet seat down, am I right? Let's celebrate. Let's say thank you, baby, for doing this, this, and that. It's always nice to be appreciating the other. So let's be sure to do that. Let's focus on what is right versus nagging them on what is wrong. Well, so there you have it. Those are all the tips on how to stop fighting with your spouse. If you like what you saw, be sure to like comment and subscribe also share this video if you know somebody that needs to stop fighting with their spouse please click here if you want to see the last video on more tips how to stop fighting with your spouse until next time to god be the glory bye